want you to chill our finest bottle of Chardonnay. Falcon Crest. It's time we celebrate. Premiered on CBS in December of 1981, Oscar winner Jane Wyman headed the talented cast. The show featured beautiful scenery, exotic cars, and expensive clothes. Isn't there more to the story? More than 20 years after its debut, Falcon Crest is best remembered for its drama. Action. You know how pig-headed she can be. And wicked sense of humor. I wonder where she gets that from. The show itself was kind of an, a splurge of indulgence and wealth and power in contrast to what was going on in the culture at large at the time. So I think people liked that people with money and power have trouble too. The trouble was between the Channings and the Giobertis, two warring families battling for control of the Falcon Crest winery. I'm not going to stop. No, not until you get everything you deserve. Chase won control of the vineyard, but Richard Channing soon arrived and set out to take over. Now that I've got the entire Tuscany Valley at my feet, how can I lose? Richard Channing is a wonderful character. He was a strong character. He could go in and out of various situations. Richard was ruthless, but he couldn't match the villainy of his stepmother, Angela Channing. They fought each other hard, and they delighted in it. He relished those fights. Boy, we could do it. Now, I gave you birth, but I'm going to live to regret it the rest of my life. I love Jane Wyman. She epitomized for me everything that it meant to be professional. Jane Wyman, so funny, hysterical, and she's just such an amazing actress. And she kept everyone on their toes, and I learned a lot from her. Jane Wyman taught me something about preserving your energy for screen. Because we did have long days on Falcon Crest, especially when we had those big gala parties. The cast favorite memories range from meaty scenes. Oh, Maggie had a baby in the living room of the big house. To memorable outfits. Man, did we make some fashion statements on Falcon Crest. The really big earrings, big shoulder pads. And close friends that made Falcon Crest an unforgettable experience. It goes back to the people and the friends that are made. All of those people, they touch you in some way. And I suppose in the end, that's what you take from a show that ran for that period of time. It was a good run. A toast to you, Falcon Christ. And long may you live.